Hey everyone, I'm back again and it's time for another source tutorial, so bring up the room that we just finished doing earlier on. Now, while I was looking at this, I decided I was going to change it up, so what you're going to do is select the room and unselect all the corridor bits and then move it over a little bit to the right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tidy this up, so with your node draw texture selected you're going to drag out a brush that will fit in previously where you had a room. Make sure of course it's the prerequisite 8 units thick, uh, wide, whatever, deep, I don't know. And just clone this wall over here and make it small enough to fit and then take it to the other side as well. And for the roof, obviously, take the floor up like we've done all the other times. If you don't get it by now, then you're not a very quick learner, are you? Now, just texture everything the same as you did before, and we tidied it up a little. Corridor looks more real world, if you like. Now, what we're going to do in here, um, I figured we would make a door. In fact, I figured we would make a door that goes into another room that will have various things in it that I've not decided yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a wall, make sure your no draw brush is selected, no draw texture, and make a wall that's in the middle, roughly, of the build of the room. Eight units, of course, uh, um, 128 units down and eight units wide and texture it however you want. I'm going to texture it with the same texture as in the rest of the walls. Now, select your clip tool and you need to make an opening that is 56 units wide. So if you're on grid size 8 like I am, then that is 7 small boxes. So that's from here to here. As you can see it's 56 units wide. Well, as you can also see, it's still 120 units high, and we don't want that. That's too high. So what you do is reduce that to 112 units. That is the standard size that you'll have for a door, is 56 by 112. Now what you want to do is you want to make a brush that will fit in that gap, so just clone up the door, and then make it smaller so it fits in the gap. Now what you want to do is you want to reduce your grid size with the left bracket until it hits 2. Once it's on 2, move it in like this. Move it in from the left into the right, one square, and from the right into the left, one square. And you'll have a door that is now four units thick, and also a small archway around the door. So, obviously, texture that. Uh, have I textured the other side of the wall? No, I haven't. So, texture, bo texture the other side of the wall as well. Now, go and browse and look for a door texture. I'm going to use just a normal dev door because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered finding a texture. So, do that. Now once you have that texture there, you'll notice it doesn't really quite fit. So use the Fit button, which is in the Justify box right here. Click on that, and as you can see, it fits perfectly now. And do it to the other side as well. Now, obviously you have a door-shaped brush, but it's not quite a door yet, because you haven't, made it, you haven't told it to be a door. So press Ctrl and T and this will bring up the object properties. Now what you want to do is go to the drop down menu and make it a funk door rotating which in layman's terms is a normal door. You can give it a name if you like but we don't need to. Um, you can change the sound that it makes when it opens, you can change the speed uh, that it opens at and whatever. But what you want to do is you want to go into flags and you want to make sure that toggle and use opens are both checked they're not checked by default, which means if you forget, you go, you get to your door and you'll find you can't open it, and you'll wonder why. So make sure that those flags are checked, and then you'll be able to go through and open your door. Now you'll notice that... Now you, what you want to do is you want to tell it where, on what side to open, like what side to be hinged on. If you zoom in, you'll see a little circle here, a little white circle in the centre of the door. What you want to do is you want to drag that to where you want it to be hinged. In my case, it's at the bottom of the door here. Once you've done that, voila, you have a door. If you walk up to this in-game and press Use, which is E, if you don't know all that, uh, then it will open. Uh, oh, yes. One thing I must say, 
make sure that you texture this side and this side because they will both be seen in the game at some point especially if the user decides he wants to open the door and then actually look at the door when it's opened he will see the no door texture if you don't texture those little sides in here uh, you can ignore those so now that we've done now that we've made a door we should have a fair amount of time left yeah we do so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce you to entities um, so we'll go to the entity tool which is up here same as the info player start and what you're going to do is you're going to type in weapon underscore and then all you'll see the list of all weapons in Half-Life um, just pick whatever weapon you like um, I'm going to put in the pistol and place it in the middle of the floor so now what happens is when the map loads this pistol will spawn and fall to the floor uh, and you can go and pick it up uh, but pistol's no fun without ammo uh, uh, whoops don't do that yeah okay pistol's no fun without ammo it will spawn with one full clip so what you want to do is click on the entity tool again and then type in item and then ammo pistol it from the drop down menu and place a couple of these um, just a bit scar these of it just move that over there and that over there and you'll have some ammo for the pistol lying around when you open the door so now that we have um, a pistol and some ammo it's time to give it something give it some use I mean it's no fun having a pistol and some ammo if you can't use it right so what we're going to do is we're going to take this wall here and we're going to cut it open and make a room behind it and the only way you're going to get into this room is by shooting the glass that we're going to place between the player and the room uh, do I have enough time to actually demonstrate this? yeah I probably do okay so take your clip tool and clip in a gap I'm just going to clip in a um, arm gap uh, let's make it this big that's 192 units so now you have this gap what you want to do is make it so that the brush make it so that there are several brushes surrounding the gap in this case I only have two plus the actual walls um, to make the border for the window and I'm only going to raise this slightly actually now as you can see we now have a gap which we're going to fill extremely shortly. First though we want to make another room so I shall do that right now and if you've been following all my tutorials so far I'll assume that you do not need to know any you will not need any instructions about how to make another room um, so just go ahead and do that right now like I am make sure that your walls are 128 and only 128 unless you decide that you want to go for some fancy building which I don't really recommend if you're new to source and are following this tutorial for that exact reason uh, whoops I've not made that the right size there we go uh, I'm doing for time here uh, we don't have there we don't have about a minute left uh, I might not get this done and I might have to roll it over to the next video so obviously texture your room um, goes to texture with the same thing as the last time yes I'm boring like that and I really don't think we're gonna have enough time for this no we won't so in the next video I will show you how to make glass in this little gap here and I'll show you how to make it so it is breakable glass and you can actually shoot it and go through it uh, this will go over using a funk breakable surf brush and an ENV cube map entity so I shall see you guys next time and bye for now